Hey, what is going on, Karasuno family? My name is Mike, and welcome back to another Karasuno TV episode. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday, the day after Sunday, and what aired on Sunday, none other than Mushoku Tensei. I just, just missed this. First off, when did Mushoku start airing an hour later than usual? Um, kind of weird. I always remember it airing at 11 a.m. EST, then one week, it was just 12, so... I wasn't able to get the recording in before a wedding uh, that I attended yesterday. So, um, and then after I got home, you know, we had the double feature of Attack on Titan. So, basically, we're doing Mushoku today, of course. Uh, it, this is the mid-season finale. You know, we're obviously going on a little bit of a break. Uh, Mushoku is going to be split core, and then we'll get more in the summer, I believe. Right? It's going to be summer. Um, but. I'm excited for this. I want to see how they're going to cap off this uh, mid-season. Only 11 episodes, so it's not too much yet, right? Uh, you know, not too much content yet. But what we have gotten has been fantastic. It's going to be interesting to see if they can continue this quality in the next core, right? Because we have gotten, you know, not, not only has it been a pretty good adaption, but the animation, just the the uh the quality of it as a whole has just been really really good really really good so um it's gonna be interesting to see if they could replicate that in the second core uh now i believe where we were i think last episode it was there was a debate going on between rougerd and rudy about killing right you know this whole difference in opinion over killing bad guys and killing at all uh now uh, i'm forgetting where we sort of left off this episode but um, again, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, our party, we, we have our, our party dead end, you know, where are they going to end this first half? I hear this is a great episode. Here it's a great episode. Um, but, uh, let's get into it guys. Of course we are live on Twitch. If you're wondering when we go live, it might seem a little bit random to you, but I'll tell you what it is not. I drop updates and announcements in discord. So come join the discord guys. Uh, it's a great place even for casual discussion. Um, if you're watching over on YouTube though, uh, make sure you drop this up to the channel and check the Patreon link in the description because that helps me out a ton. Uh, and like I said, join the Discord and come join, join the stream next time, guys. Thanks for the love and for the support and for watching. Uh, let's get into this Mushoku Tensei episode 11. Let's fly for this. Ooh, Roxy, right, 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 right from the start. Is this the? Is this her hometown? Is it is this the is this the town that Rudy and them passed through? A list of the dead from what though? What did I? Did... Oh, the Man of Storm. Right. This list of the dead is probably from the Man of Storm, right? Oh, Jiraiya. Anyone else here? This is Paul speaking too. Whoa. So the, who, that's who those two were, former members of the Black Fangs, right? Is that what they said? Look, a little bit of tension with Rougeur too. You see that in the background. He sort of walks out of the of the store, wherever they were. <laughs> oh, Eris. Such a huge difference in Eris's character from the first time we met her till now. Like, uh, in terms of our enjoyment of her, you know? Very irritating at the beginning, but now she's really come around. Very comfortable seeing her. You get a very comforting feeling. Oh! <laughs> it's a little demon kid with the horns. I don't know if he's a demon, but he's got the horns for sure. What was his name again? I forget. What's Eris doing? I, I I love this foreground background shot. This is a lot of personality here. Now I wonder if the monster is so in you know the guild did a triple booking. They said I wonder if the monster is so strong, so intimidating that you need three parties. <laughs> Rougeard and his and his children love. Oh my lord! Oh, spider dropped down right from. Oh my goodness! They didn't even notice that at all. <laughs> They're just sprinting away. 
Another monster. Rudy's waiting. Maybe they are good in combat. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Rudy hesitated and this guy just got chopped clear in half. Oh. Ooh. Animation's going crazy. Whoa, that impact. Oh, and Eris is going in too. Look at her, she's soloing that, that, that serpent. Wow. <laughs> Insane, that looks so good. No shot, the two of them are so strong. Yeah, wow, that's a little bit of like, past life Rudeus, you know, sort of trying to take advantage. That's just, that, that was a brutal, that death was brutal, goodness. Again, with the, the, the dynamic foregrounds in these shots, it's really nice. Oh, the way that he moved his hand. He was going to treat him like a child, and then he, you know, he, tra he, he moved. He switched at the last moment, moved the hand from the head pat to placing it on the shoulder. Somebody, you know, it's like something you would do to somebody on equal, uh, on equal footing. Rather than like a kid, a head pat for a kid. A very subtle but but very telling move there from Rougeard. Oh, they're carrying their 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 guy away. In the backpack. Oh. What I said before, an indication of his past. It's like a sort of like a little bit of like a scummy, you know, only thinking for himself kind of move. You know flashes to his past life, right? Oh lord, these guys got brutalized as well. Oh, and their captain or or, or their leader is getting eaten. <laughs> Good luck, Colby. Definitely, Rougier with that confidence. Oh, we get to see Rudy go into action, but did it dodge? It did. Wow, cutting right down the serpent's uh, neck. Oh, wait. Eris couldn't cut through. She just got sent flying. Oh, she managed to stop herself, though, by using the tree. Rudy's not helping at all here, too. They're dodging everything. Oh, Rougeur stopped it with one hand. Whoa, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Goodness, it looks so good. The teamwork, the coordination was so good there. I mean, Rudy was a little bit off his game, but Rougeard really is the commander here. Wow. That just looked so good. <laughs> Wow, so it's such an heiress thing to just like hop around in, in celebration. Oh, the guy died. Ru wow, damn. Rouge heard really something else. He really cares about life so much. Rouge heard really is the MVP there. Oh, interesting. They got found out. Watch, Rougeard's not gonna stand by. He's gonna he's gonna lash out. Uh, I, I'm telling you, it's a very Rougeard thing to do. What is uh Rudy doing? Oh he why he wiped his hair off. Oh he dumped the water on himself. Rudy was about to do it. That's why he said betraying Rougeur. But, th but then Rougeur just beat him to it and he did it himself. 
Oh, goodness gracious. This guy's not going to say a word. Oh, really? He was going to destroy the entire place? I mean, I know he was... Really? I thought he was just going to make it rain to wipe, wash the, the stuff off of Ruger's hair. I, I, I didn't know. Interesting. Really? He was going to destroy the whole city? Wow. Damn. Even though he saved, uh, saved their lives, still that, that, that deep-rooted fear, uh, you know, of, of the spurred. <laughs> Eris marching away. <laughs> Little pouty face by Addis. Oh, I'm telling you, Rougeard's really, they, they, they need this, like, fatherly, mature figure in the party here. You were desperate to protect something. Exactly. Like, he could sense this, right? He has that sixth sense here. <laughs> Eris realizes. <laughs> Comrades and children. Mm. He doesn't really care, you know. Well, he does care, but he, 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 he would rather treasure the sense of camaraderie that he has and focus on his small mission rather than the large one. He doesn't care, you know, he doesn't really care if his reputation is still bad. He'll still continue to do good things. Ha! <laughs> Eris throws her hand in too. You're leaving me out. <laughs> we moving on? Oh, but the bald head. <laughs> oh, you shaved his head? I like you, Kachi. I agree. I do like it. I like the bald head. Oh, what is he, a shinobi now? <laughs> <laughs> Eris loves that. Eris loves the matching headbands. I gotta say, I think it's uh, the, the natural progression of Rudy's character. Um, he was developing very great on his own before the Eris, or meeting Eris, meeting, meeting Rougerd. But I think that they like perfectly timed it. To introduce new characters alongside Rudy, because it's just helping him grow and, and and become an even even better of a character. I think it was just the perfect time to ditch solo Rudy and you know form him up with a party. In my opinion, the Asura Kingdom. Where's the Asura Kingdom? Oh my gosh! Did you see that Eris there? That Eris looked whack. Look at that Rudy! Oh my goodness! Guys, the, F the FBI are gonna be on us. Oh my goodness. Bald Richard, bald Mike. <laughs> Who pulled it off better? I should have cosplayed as him. Oh, really? Uh, the Asura Kingdom is where they're from? New city on the horizon. We still have more. Just another minute or two. Roxy. Oh, it's Roxy. Is she sailing into port in the same town that they're headed to? Ladies and gentlemen of the Kaisano family, that was episode 11 of Mushoku Tensei. And the first core is done just like that. What a final uh, episode. What a season. You know, what a core season, whatever you want to call it. First core, first season. Um, really, really fantastic. Just the quality of the adaption has been phenomenal. Phenomenal. 
I, I mean, it, they, they demonstrated it in the last episode here. They demonstrated it all throughout. Everything just looks so good, so beautiful. The only wonky shots were in that last like little montage <laughs> where like Rudy was looking weird and Ro and um, not Roxy, excuse me. Edis was looking a little weird, but everything was so, so good. And, and, and yeah, yeah, Mustang, season two or core two. Um, it's supposed to, I think it's going to be core two, but who knows if they call it season two. Who knows with the naming, but um, looking forward to that immensely. You know, it really feels like such a grand adventure now. You know, the beginning was great, and it started us off with the development of Rudy as a character in his hometown. But, you know, there was always this sense that I got. It was like a little itch in the, you know, you know that I had. I was like, I feel like this could be a grander adventure. It could be a grander adventure. I'm feeling a grander adventure on the horizon. And, of course, we do get that. Uh, it, and and it's, it's great. You know, I'm looking forward to all the places that we're going to travel to, the different... Yeah, uh, you know, mysteries, intrigue of the world, really, really great stuff. Uh, you know, experiencing you know these these new sights and 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 sounds and just everything of the world has to offer right alongside Rudy and the party. Um, but yes, really fantastic adaption. Um, I enjoyed it from start to finish. Really, really great stuff. You know, truly a, a great set guy. I mean, I I don't have any qualms with the show. You know, the 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 whole argument of pedo rudy is pretty childish to be honest it's it, it's pretty laughable because um you know while i'm not you know i don't condone any of the actions that that former rudy did or um it doesn't even make for a very enjoyable watch but it's it's a very strong potent point and it's a very um it's just a it's just a very strong contrast to his current character and it allows a lot of growth and it allows you know it, it it shows like a very flawed character and how they can grow and you know uh with a second chance become a better person so i i think that as a vessel for character growth it is fantastic uh yeah of course the scenes are a little bit distasteful you know they're not exactly the best thing to watch you know and it, and it, and it leaves a sour taste in your mouth but the people who run with the pedo rudy you know it's just it 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 it, it uh it completely misses the point of his character and his growth as a character so even that didn't bother me you know really at all um right danger i agree um but uh but yeah so i enjoyed this really really great high marks over to mushoku tensai uh first season first core um mal will probably separate it out into two different entries this first core and the second core but really really loved it guys looking forward to more make sure you guys join for the streams because we were live on twitch and if you don't know when we go live that means you have to join the discord so that you could see and get pinged when i drop updates on when we go live and stuff like that guys um if you're watching over on youtube drop a sub uh you know that way you can stay up to date on all the content i'm dropping patreon link's gonna be in the description check that out good way to support um but yeah like i said sub so that you're up to date and you're ready to go when the next core drops in the summer um, other than that, guys, thanks so much for the love, for the support, and for watching. Uh, can't wait to see you guys in the next one.